Now, um, I believe what comes next is actually the final boss of the game, very soon. Now, um, I'm just gonna try and explain it real quick. The final boss is basically gonna make, mainly just make clones of himself that we, and he's gonna be blocking a lot. So, main thing is just, like, keep attacking and ho hope you finally get through his defenses. He make, ends up making three clones of himself, only one at a time, and then pretty much after the third clone, he's pretty much done for. Now, um... I'm explaining this in advance because the characters will be talking a lot during the final battle, and I don't really want to talk over them if, if possible. So I figured I'd explain it in advance, that way I don't have to during the battle. Alright, so let's go ahead and save. Done. I'll start the story from here next time. Bravely I had fought and slain my enemy. Honor and glory are mine. But though I fight until the desert sands themselves were red with blood, I could not bring back the dead. Oh, Prince. No. No. Forever, and those I loved are dead, and I to blame. I choose death. Things rewinding. We've gone back. This time we have the dagger of time. This belongs to you. The dagger of time. But it is locked away within my father's treasure vault. How Most do... people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. This is how the game had opened. It was actually the prince explaining the whole story to her. Which I think is kind of cool. you and your father to arrest this treacherous vizier before he betrays you and brings ruin on us all. His signal is a flaming arrow shot into the air. Prevent him, and my father's army will know the traitor has been unmasked. They will turn back. A wild tale indeed. I have a simpler version. A Persian soldier lusting for glory entered the chambers of the Maharaja's daughter and was slain by me. Alright, bring it on, Vizier. You've had this coming for a long time. Safety, I suggest you flee. Here we go. I will handle this intruder. My lady, he came here to abduct you. Surely you do not believe him. 
He will betray you. All will happen as I have foretold. How inventive. Do not forget, he is a Persian soldier. Oh, what I told you is no story. It happened. I mean... It will happen. Okay, one clone down. Your exertions are most amusing. But today I take up party. Let him be brought before my father. He will judge. Vizier, I have commanded you to stop. Do you disobey? I've taken orders long enough from a senile fool and a sniveling brat. Your father was a great warrior in his youth, or so he would have the world believe. A pity his son does not take after him. And then again, perhaps father and son are alike. It would appear that both showed a taste for an easy plunder. You waste your breath. What little you possess. You perceive my malady. The consumption that has robbed me. Okay, final clone incoming. Did you really think you could defeat me? <coughs> Be careful. Don't tire yourself. <laughs> Get cocky now, Prince. I will handle this intruder. Okay, all clones defeated. Get out of here! And so it ends. How will the Maharaja feel when he finds his only daughter slain by the son of his enemy? <laughs> Do you have any last words you wish me to communicate to the princess before I kill her? Words of love, perhaps? Get out of here! You're not killing anybody. I could have been. Never trust a vizier. Then it's true. He was a traitor. Take this. Return it to your father's treasure vault. Guard it well. I owe you thanks. But why did you invent such a fantastic story? Do you think me a child that I would believe such nonsense? <laughs> I said I owe you thanks. You presume too much. Okay, let's rewind that and pretend it never happened then. Fantastic story. Do you think me a child that I would believe such nonsense? You're right. It was just a story. Wait. I don't even know your name. Just call me Kakulukia. <laughs> mm, now how would he know that word, eh, Pharaoh? Well, with that, folks, that is the end of Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time.
Yeah, the final boss is kind of disappointing, I guess. I mean, you're fighting some kind of magical vizier, and the only thing he's able to do is make clones of himself to fight you. Kinda lame of that respect, but oh well. But yeah, um, this is definitely a, a, a good game. It's one of the, my very first PlayStation 2 games. It's just one of those games I just instantly fell in love with. I love the platforming in it. Combat's eh, but I like the story in it, and you know, it's it's just an enjoyable an enjoyable experience. All right, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and shut up and let the song play and the credits roll, and I'll see you guys at the finale. Alright guys, so that was the end of Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. Now, I, there are a couple extra things that I am going to show in the bonus video, but I'm going to save that for... I'm gonna, like I said, just said, I'm going to save that for the bonus video. So, I'll see you guys in a few minutes.